Hi friends, my name is Clint Hoagland and this is Creating Electronic Music with Chuck. In our last tutorial, I talked about why you might want to try using a text editor like VS Code to edit and run your Chuck files. In this tutorial, we'll talk more about the now keyword. We've seen the now keyword in prior tutorials, but I haven't taken any time yet to explain what it is or how it works. Let's do that now. Okay, before we talk about the now keyword, we need to describe a, a couple of interesting types that exist inside Chuck. Remember we talked a few lessons ago about what a type is? The, a type system means that for a particular variable, your programming language will be able to expect certain things to be true about that variable. and all variables of that type will behave the same way. So we talked about the, the idea of a string, where I said my name was Clint, and I chucked that to a string variable called name. And so the chuck can expect that, that variable called name to behave like a string and can do string things with it. So in chuck, there are two types of variables that deal with time. The first is the time type, and then there's the duration type. The time type describes a particular moment in time. So like, say for example, I'm working at this at 10.06 PM. Well, actually it's the um, amount of time since the uh, Chuck, since Chuck launched basically. So I'll show you how that works. So the now variable itself returns a time. So I'm gonna show you a time happen here in a Chuck program. So we got our logging statement as before, and I put the now keyword in that logging statement. And I saved it as time.ck, so Chuck will be able to run it. And now I'm going to run time.ck. So see, I put 0, 0.0000. That's how long that logging statement occurred after the amount of time that had uh, t taken place on the Chuck program. Uh, just for readability's sake, let's put in a string in here called start. Save it up and let's run it again. There's the start. Okay, now we're going to create a duration variable. And by that, well, I'm just going to take a duration. I'm going to say one second. Actually, let's make a duration variable and I'm going to call it a uh, direct, it's going to be a d duration variable, which th that type is dur. Dur and I'll call that dir beat. Sure. And then we're going to send a beat. We're going to chuck it to now. And then we're going to make another logging statement. It says end. Save it up. We'll run it again. That, that didn't work the way I expected. Still didn't work. Oh, because I got rid of the other thing now. <laughs> Man, maybe I should be doing this at 10.06 p.m. at night. Um, now I'm going to do a beat to now save it up one more time. Now let's see what happens. Yeah. So it start, started here, and it told you what the, what the time was. And then it said 44... 1,100 was the time and then the end. Now, we told it to do one second, which it did. You, know, like it, it, you saw it happen. It took about a second. It actually took exactly a second. But it says 44,100. Now, digital audio folks out there will know why that is, but if you're not one of those, the reason for that is because there are 44,100 samples in a second. That's the sample rate of a standard sound card on your system. Uh, there are reasons why that is. Uh, we can go into that maybe in another lesson, but we're going to leave that fact alone for right now. The, re the reason why that is is because there is there are uh, 44,100 samples in a in a Earth second. Now we could, if we wanted to, make it advance by one sample instead of one second. So I'll save that up and let's try that. Maybe we can't. Let me look that up in my Chuck book I've got here, my handy dandy Chuck book. 
It's S A M P. Let's try this again. Save it up. It should look instantaneous, but it should advance one sample according to our logging statement. Yeah, there it is. So that worked exactly like we expected. Okay, so now is a variable that returns a time, but if you give it a duration, it will advance that time. And the basic way of working with time in Chuck is you set up a system of whatever, however you want it to occur for a certain length of time, and then you chuck a, a duration variable to now, and then Chuck will advance that amount of time and then stop. And then you can uh, describe whatever kind of musical system or audio system you want for that next moment and say, okay, here's, the, here's how I want the next moment to go. And then Chuck another duration of time to now, and then Chuck will advance that uh, advance again. So let's see that happen in practice with some music. Let's delete all this. Um, I'm going to say... Uh, one second divided by two and chuck that to beat. So we'll have uh, not beast, but beat. So that should be a, uh, uh, that'll mean 120 beats per, per minute because there are 60 seconds in a minute. And then we will create our oscillator system the way that we always have. We'll make a sine oscillator named OS OSC. Chuck that to the, the digital audio converter. Then we'll give it a, let's say, a, a 200 frequency. And uh, we'll give it a gain of 0 0.5. And then we'll chuck it for a beat. We'll chuck a beat to now. Save it up. What does it sound like? It's because I didn't give it a type. You're, we're doing it live, folks. All right. We heard that 200 hertz sine oscillator go for half a second. All right. So now we could just do it again. Let's, uh, let's change our oscillator's frequency to 300. Oh. And then we'll send another beat to now. Save it up. Run it again. Hey, hear that? That was one more time with feeling. 400. Let's see. Dot. Freak and beat to now. Set it up. And you can also, uh, let's say we wanted to divide this by two and divide this by two. You can do that right there in front of uh, when you're ch chucking it to now, and you can get uh, that kind of variation in time like this. Check it out. So that's it in short. There, uh, we may see more interesting ways to play with this in the future, but the short version about, about the now keyword is that there's a duration type that describes a length of time, and if you send a, a duration to now, it will advance your musical project that length in time. So the basic way of working with time in Chuck is you, once again, you set up whatever kind of musical system you want to occur for a moment in time. And then you describe the length of that moment in time by sending it to now. And then now will play that moment in time for the amount of time that you said in that duration. Next time, we're going to take a look at loops and how Chuck uses loops.